Hey y'all, welcome to Sharpen, where no matter the candid conversation, we always seem to whittle life down to what matters most. And we hope that as you hang out with us today, you will be inspired to do the same. My name is Nicole Payne. This is Danielle Perry. This is Lynn Rue. And this is Natyra Blount. And today, our topic is transforming thinking. Mm. This was Lynn's idea, y'all, but we all liked it. <laughs> 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 Hater. Already out to some shenanigans, y'all know how we do it. I thought to look up the definition to the word transform, and it says to make a thorough or dramatic change in the form, appearance, or character of, to change, to alter, and to modify. So that is what the word transform means, and let's keep that in our minds as we talk today. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and start with the first question. Is transforming our thinking necessary? Why or why not? Who's going first? Whoever wants to go first. Um, It's definitely necessary. First, as a believer. Like, you can't just keep thinking. Uh, You can't think your own thoughts if we are the saints it has to be a transforming of the mind in order for us to be to bear the fruit that God wants us to bear or that we're supposed to bear Mm -hmm. and then um and and to be his image bearers so that's definitely uh, from a spiritual standpoint Mm -hmm. um from a natural standpoint if you are not whole in any area of your life, for example, if you're dealing with uh, insecurities, if you're dealing with jealousy, um, just the whole gamut we could run into, all of the negative, um, what's the word? I don't know. Just ne- just negative thought pride. A skewed perspective, that's the word I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. If you're operating from a skewed per- perspective, as quite a bit of us are, um, then you're not seeing a clear lens. And then you, um, you're you just jumping off the brakes or jumping off the track, rather. And then people are looking at, what's wrong with you? Like, for example, when you put up the... Uh, the little post that we had, not little, but the post that we had done when Natyra, that is so hilarious, when Natyra was saying, you don't got to worry about my shoes. Oh, my shoes. Are, how big my feet are. How big my feet are. Um, you know, if you if you coming off that way all the time, then people are looking at you like, what's the matter with you? Mm-hmm. Like, are you crazy? And so you have to at some point stop and say, okay, Everyone or many have said, you know, mm-hmm. you have, mm-hmm. you have a tendency to do blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Right. And so <laughs> if, if everybody or more than one person has been saying that, then you have to do some transforming of thinking because if not, then you're ruining relationships. Um, you're, I, you're going to, it then becomes a level of isolation where mm-hmm. nobody wants to be bothered with you. Mm-hmm. And, and then, and then you come to that thought process. Well, I just don't like, I, well, you know, I just like being alone. I just mm-hmm. like being to myself. No, you haven't transformed your thinking and nobody don't want to deal with you. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. Yeah. Your, your attitude stinks, mm-hmm. you know, or you <clears throat> late all the time mm-hmm. and I don't want to invite you mm-hmm. uh, to go out with me because I like being on time, you know, it's just all, it's just a whole gamut. So if you're not, if you're not in that thought of transforming your mind, it's just, it, it, it it can become toxic Mm -hmm. to the, and detrimental to you as a person. And others. Yes. Connected to you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, In my notes. (laughs) I I put Only that you come in with the notes. transforming thinking is necessary <laughs> because we are lifelong learners. Yeah, and whenever you moment. learn something, mm-hmm. you have to add the new stuff to what you already know. Um, so 
you know, just just thinking practically, not even thinking necessarily spiritually, but thinking of um, being in school, you know, being in class and you're there to learn. You're there to learn new things. You're not there to talk about just what you already know, although right. that is a part of the learning process mm -hmm. because you always have to build on top of current knowledge. Right. But the teachers are there to give you new information mm -hmm. so that you can add to what you already mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So that's transforming thinking right there. And yes. then, you know, you're tested. You're assessed on what you learn. Mm -hmm. um, and so what do you do? You have to study, right? right. That's a part of transforming thinking as well because um, it's not, you know, a lot of times it doesn't just happen like that in a snap um, where you can um, effectively add the new to the old or the current um, very easily. There are some people who can pick up things just like that, right. certain mm -hmm. things. But, um, but transforming a current mindset or adding new information to what you already know, it takes work right. and it takes a process. Mm -hmm. It takes studying. It takes repeating. Um, so that's one thing that I thought about, the necessity of transforming thinking. I also put some things we learn, not knowledge that we live out, habits that we form, are not always things that should stay with us. Definitely. What you said, you know, the um, skewed perspective, mm -hmm. you know, we are human. Right. We have flaws. Right. right. We were born and shaping in iniquity. So now we're thinking spiritually. Um, but with that and in our humanity comes um, uh, bad habits, forming bad habits, just uh, being in our flesh wired <clears throat> in certain ways that prove ungodly. Mm. So in that respect, as you said, we have to when you address the spiritual part first, we have to transform our thinking, which is mm -hmm. what the Bible says anyway. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Absolutely. As believers, we need to transform our mind because um, if we don't, I mean, y'all pretty much hit on it already, but we're just going to stay the same. Right. There's going to be no change. There's going to be no transformation. Um, if the Bible says we're going to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, then we have to renew our minds so that we're transformed. Right. Um, so I think in order to grow, in order to mature, we have to renew our thinking. Um, I have, as, I, as I've been in therapy, I just see it all the more how important it is to have renewed thinking. Um, first of all, therapy is accountability, right? right? Mm. So each session I'm wanting to come to her giving like a, a good report and I've improved, you know, this yeah. week, you know? Um, but the reality is sometimes yeah. that's not always the case, which is yeah. fine because that's why I'm in therapy so mm -hmm. that I can improve eventually. But um, I'm just saying that as I'm in therapy, it's causing me to think differently. Mm -hmm. It's causing me to um, not think how I used to. Uh so if I want to grow, if I want to actually put to use what she's helping me with, mm -hmm. then I can't think like I used to. Right. right. Like my thinking patterns have to change if I want to implement the things that she's suggesting I do. Um, and I think that goes along with when we hear our pastors preach, we got to renew our minds if we're going to apply what they're preaching. Exactly. If, it, if it's an area that we need to work on, mm -hmm. it can be the same with friendships. If Natyra calls me and or if I call her and I come to her with an issue that I'm having and she's like, well, Danny, actually, I think you need to do this. And I'm like, but I don't want to. But if she's suggesting something that's actually going to be good for me, then I have to renew my mind and do what she's suggesting, suggesting right. that I do. So I think it comes across any any, uh, I guess, way where somebody's um, suggesting that you do a thing that's going to help, that's going to improve, that's going to mature you. But in order to actually do whatever they're suggesting, it's going to take a renewing of your mind. Right. So absolutely, as Christians, we have to um, transform our minds daily. Uh, yes. So. If we're going to put on the mind of Christ as best we can, um, but also knowing that the Bible says your thoughts are not my thoughts, mm -hmm. and you know, um, then we're going to have to open ourselves up to constantly yeah. transform our thing. It's like all the time. Right. All the and time. because he, he's so much bigger, so much more intelligent, just so much broader than we are, we can't put on the mind of Christ all, all the way. 
Mm-hmm. Like it has to be piece by piece. You know, he show mm-hmm. show us something in this area, show us something in that area. Mm-hmm. If you notice, yeah. you turn around like it's always something. Like bro, like <laughs> last month mm-hmm. right. I worked on what I was saying. Now you come around here talking about <laughs> now I need to work on this. <laughs> Like, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. But there's always something. Mm-hmm. And if we're not open to it, we'll, we'll miss the opportunity to grow. We'll miss mm-hmm. the opportunity to hear what he's saying and to fulfill the reason that we're here. My daughter said something really good when we were doing family time. And, you know, she she's a, a what's, what's the second year of high school? She's a sophomore. sophomore. And so, you know, just grappling with everybody seems so carefree, but she always has to consider what she's doing, what she's saying, how she's reacting, how she's speaking to people and all of that. And she means everybody, like her class, her Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she said, like, <clears throat> but when I think about, I really could just be doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. She was like, but if I'm, like, but, but what is there to look forward to after that? Right. Right. She was like, mm. what, 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 mm. after, after mm. I've done that, yeah. now what? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I used to think that about, same way when I was her age. Yeah. yeah. And she was just like, what else is there? Like, why else yeah. am I here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if, if we know we're here for something very specific, we just have to be open to changing our minds. Even with things that we think is like a real dope, like concept, like. Mm-hmm. Nah, because the way I do this mm-hmm. is good. Mm-hmm. Like, it works, and people <laughs> like it, too. Mm-hmm. But then God's like, yeah, but it's not me. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, let's fix this. <laughs> and being open to that. It's, re- it's refreshing once you get through the change part. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's the, the change part that is a little tricky mm-hmm. uh, to kind of, nope, 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 nope. I told myself, mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, supposed to, I'm not supposed, to, supposed to do it that way. Right. Yes. So I'm not even going to say nothing. Right. You know, and then getting to a point where naturally you say and do something different. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or think that way. Because mm-hmm. there's days, that, there are days where I wake up and I'll think about something that happened like yesterday mm. or something that happened like years ago. And I'll have to be like, no, 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 no. Today is a new day. That's new right. grace. That's right. new mercy. Mm-hmm. Why? Yep. Why? Like mm-hmm. you haven't even stepped foot into the into work yet. Like yeah. why you go? Why you going in May? May going right. in hot. Like, coming in hot. Like, like, let's not come in hot. Yeah. No, you don't yeah. even know what the day is mm-hmm. going to be like. But yep. you know, it's like it's so well, easy to go that route. It though. is. Yeah. Or no, that was like. <laughs> That was last year, or mm-hmm. that was so long ago so before long you ago. even knew mm-hmm. Christ. You know, like, yeah. right. yes, you were dumb then. Okay, let's, okay, you were dumb, you didn't know Christ. All right, let's keep it moving. Keep it you moving. know, so it, right. it has to be, and I think that's what we have to um, remember. It's a daily process. We think it's just a one time hit wonder and yep. we're good, and it's mm-hmm. not. It's a daily, process. a daily process. One, because the enemy is about his business mm-hmm. of making sure that you don't hit the mark. Mm-hmm. Right. That you're mm-hmm. not going to hit that mark. You're not going to be about your father's business for the day. So, mm-hmm. he, you know, he's, he's on his job every right. day. Right. Like, mm-hmm. yes, okay, she slept. She woke up this morning. Mm-hmm. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, this is the plan for when she's her foot hits that bed or even when her eyes open. Mm-hmm. You know, he's on mm-hmm. it. No, when she opened her eyes, this thought is coming right there. Boom. Yep. yep. You just trying to get the sleep out your eye. Like, all mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for Why letting we call me it sleep. <laughs> right. Not, sleep right. Whatever the crust sleep. All right. <laughs> no, I'm saying we, because we, we all say it. Yeah. Get the sleep. You know, out. you're trying to get that out your eye and Stop. stumble into Wow. What just happened? You know what? It, we recording, so I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But is her foot still on your chair? Yeah. Kick her off. Right. Kick back. her off though. I mean, but I am trying change to change your mind my about point. that. This always happens to me. <laughs> you can change your mind. You said yes at the beginning. You can say no now. We transforming. <laughs> What were you saying? Then? I'm sorry. I don't even then. know. Let us <laughs> just transform our minds every day, saints. Yeah, you were just saying the devil be on it. Right, I heard yeah, you. Yeah, see. <laughs> I did. I was He's on promise. this. You're trying to go brush your teeth. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's a daily process. It is. It is. Even with us. Get your foot off her chair. <laughs> I slid it back. <laughs> Try not to have my face hit by the mic. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> 
Are we ready for the next question? We are, apparently. <laughs> okay. What are mm. obstacles and benefits to transforming thinking? Y'all want me to go first? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Because you, you got, got notes. notes. I got notes. <laughs> I'll be needing my notes That's so I can what remember I what I'm going to say. <clears throat> okay, so I wrote obstacles to transforming thinking are well established four to five mindsets and trains of thought, thought, trains of thought that fight your efforts to change your mind. Mm -hmm. They may be strongholds mm -hmm. um, yeah. that we might not even be aware of. Definitely. Or are aware of that we don't want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it right there. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, you know, and I was talking to my therapist about this this week. A lot of times when we um, go beneath the surface to root up and gut up some things, and, and uh, as believers, you know, like you were saying, Natyra, God is always leading us in the right direction um, so that we can effectively serve our purpose that he gave us. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, a lot of times he has to show us us and he has to show us what is not good to go with us where we're going. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, sometimes when he does that and well, when he does that, that makes us uncomfortable. And we have to understand that a lot of times um, that gutting up process looks ugly before it looks better right <laughs> yeah you know you think about Very true. well when we were getting our basement done and i know y'all just y'all recently got y'all's basement done mm -hmm. um and isn't it interesting that the basement in the dream world um symbolizes the past and things that have been hidden and things that have mm. been pushed under mm. the surface mm -hmm. but um when we were getting our basement done they had to gut out what was currently there mm -hmm. that we wanted to change and it took a while it took some months yeah. and now the finished pro pro product is beautiful but if you saw the process mm -hmm. it wasn't mm -hmm. the basement right. was inaccess inaccess inaccessible in inaccessible inaccessible mm -hmm. um you know we couldn't the water was off down there we were getting a bathroom put <clears> down there the water wasn't you know the pipes and everything weren't where they should be um they had to you know knock down walls and and re organized some things and it was just it was it was ugly yeah. but now it's not mm -hmm. but that process took some time and it was not beautiful right mm -hmm. finished product is beautiful yeah and a lot of times that's how it is when we have to change our thinking um and god has to show us what needs changing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so yeah um that's an obstacle mm -hmm. uh and then frustration with the time that it may take mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. also be Oh. an obstacle absolutely oh, absolutely uh, like you just said we you know like uh, we and i i can identify this with this i like to be able to be successful just like that right. you know mm -hmm. um some would call me a high achiever so you know those high achievers or like an overachiever over high <laughs> is this on mine <laughs> <laughs> is it is it <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, we just want to be able to go from A to B just mm -hmm. like that and not yeah. have any challenges. Oh, definitely. You know? Yeah. And so the frustration with that, um, that process and mm -hmm. how long it may take or mm -hmm. how um, how often you might have to, to do it, how mm -hmm. you ha might have to be reminded, mm -hmm. that can also be an obstacle. Definitely. Yeah, those obstacles are a trip. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to renewing our minds, like it takes a lot of effort. When you've been thinking a certain way for years, right. and now God is calling you out of that thinking pattern, it takes a minute right. to for real, you know, get out of that, come out of that. And so, yeah, absolutely. The obstacles are, in addition to what you said, um, well, not in addition to, just emphasizing more on the frustration of just, this is not happening as fast as I want it to. Like, my mind, my thinking is not changing fast enough. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's frustrating. Like, I think about conversations I may have with my husband that I know because of my, uh, the obstacle of not transforming my mind in a particular moment now we're having a disagreement but i know it was because of me because of how my mind was in that moment mm -hmm. this is why we're here because i didn't transform my mind 
And so when you think about just the the outcome or the the consequence of not transforming your mind in a in a particular moment, it's like, dang, here we go again. Mm-hmm. Like God, I'm for real trying to change. Like I'm I'm trying, but we we here again, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and so I think what we have to focus more on though is not the fact that we're here again, but that we actually see, that we recognize that mm-hmm. we're here again. Mm-hmm. You know, just becoming more self aware with, okay, at least I paid attention to mm-hmm. my thoughts this time. Right. That's progress. You know, yes. that's progress. And you have to you have to really um you have to congratulate yourself in those kinds of moments. Right. Like you have to you have to encourage yourself and know, okay, I made some progress. All right, we we gonna get it. We gonna get it. We gonna get there. Right. You know, and what's your question? The benefit as well. Mm-hmm. The benefit of of transforming of thinking. transforming your your thinking. You don't have it. You don't have the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> She's not. I'm mad because I finished not. my coffee and I want more. Look. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean the the benefits are, I believe, um. Just more peace. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I recently um, just had a moment with God of realizing the progress that I've made mentally. And when your mind is at peace, that means your mind is clear. Mm-hmm. You don't have all of this stuff just in your mind. Like you're actually able to be clear. Like you're clear. And when you have a clear mind, um, the joy is just there. Right. The peace mm-hmm. is there. The love is there. You're not easily moved by things that you're normally moved by. Um, so the benefits, I believe, that's that's just peace and joy. That's just two things. Mm-hmm. Um, but I believe there are a plethora of benefits. So. I didn't want to keep talking because Tyra ain't talk yet. Hmm? Lynn didn't either. Oh, Lynn didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't have much. You don't have much? No. I don't have much either. Um, I was thinking uh, when you guys, when you two were talking, um, it reminded me of a conversation <laughs> I had with Chris yesterday. Mm. And he asked me... Um, he asked me was I he asked me was I happy? Mm. And I told him yes. Um and I am. Good. Um but that came from the transforming of the mind. Mm-hmm. And um I it, it just it comes from you not me slowing down um and giving God the level of control he needed in my life because I was like, uh, that was a jacked up process. And I wanted it to be over. Mm-hmm. I did. I wanted I wanted to be like, oh my gosh, like here mm-hmm. we go again. And I'm still here. And, you know, why am I still here? Why do I still think the way that I think? It's not this. It's not that. Um, I just, but it, again, it be, it came to the point where it had to be a daily process Mm -hmm. of renewing of the mind, casting down thoughts and, okay, going to God and Mm -hmm. saying, okay, yeah, I jacked that portion up. Um, But you still have the answer. I know you have the answer. I know you're going to work this out. Um, Just keep guiding me and directing me. And that took a while. Mm -hmm. That That just took a while. And what I try to... Uh, stress to him is that for me it's my walk um I think for him he doesn't recognize that God needs that control in in his life um and I told him yesterday I think you um you keep I think what's going on here is you keep fighting the process that God wants for you um and he reminds me of myself. And I told him, I said, you remind me of myself when I was your age, where I thought all of these other things were so much more important. Yeah. But when you surrender 
mm-hmm. um, like you're supposed to, the benefits of the peace and the joy. And can you honestly say, I'm happy? You can look on it and be like, yes. And I knew that I was happy because I didn't think the way that I thought anymore. Mm-hmm. I wasn't that same person mm-hmm. anymore. So mm-hmm. I think that's the benefit of it. The obstacle is pretty much the obstacle a lot of times is us because we don't want to give over. Mm-hmm. You know, we <clears throat> we don't want to go through the gutting out process because mm-hmm. the gutting out process reveals you, mm-hmm. reveals the things that have happened to make you you mm-hmm. and that have made you you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and those thoughts people don't always, you know, you don't always want to go back to. Or um, some things you just like. You know, you like it's not good for you, but you like it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's that level of control that you have to give over to God and still and be vulnerable to give mm-hmm. over to him. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times I feel we put the humanity of man on God. Mm-hmm. You can't. He's not trustworthy. He's not, you know, he doesn't really he doesn't have your best interests at right, heart, right. but he does. Mm-hmm. You just got to go through the process of being chastened and pruned and all of these other things mm-hmm. so that when, you know, when you look in the mirror, it's the image of God, mm-hmm. not Lynn. Right. You know. And thinking about Christian's question, um, I, he probably is going through the whole thing of, He's going to have to learn that happiness ain't, ain't always going to be it either. Mm-hmm. Bro. Like you, joy trumps happiness because um, things that happen in life, are, we're not always going to be happy about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are not. You know, we're going we gonna to go through seasons where we're not happy about them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's going to have to, you know, as we all still are learning, but he's, he's going to have to learn um, happiness is not the priority, really. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, um, so uh, other things that I thought about um, when we're, we're talking about transforming thinking, but I want to put a shine a light on the fact um, that this familiar scripture, Romans 12 and 2, um, I'm going to read it in the... Um, New Living Translation, it says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. God does the transformation. Right. Right. So uh, that, when we remind ourselves of that, that helps us to let go of some of the frustration Mm -hmm. because we are not the transformers. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we are to be obedient to what mm-hmm. God says and to think on the things that he says to think on, even though it may be very hard on some days and in some moments. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have to continue, continue to trust that if we do what we're supposed to do, he's going to do what he's going to do. Mm-hmm. And he does the transforming. Mm-hmm. We don't do the transforming. Mm-hmm. Um, I also wanted to share this brief piece of literature that I found about the mind And this is from a neuroscientist. Her name is Dr. Carolyn Leaf. Um, And she's actually, I believe she's a believer. Hmm. Um, She said that the mind, because this is a benefit. This is benefits to positive thinking or Mm -hmm. transforming thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, She says the mind is separate yet inseparable from the brain. And I remember trying to spell this out in our mental health and faith episode. Mm -hmm. Um, they're two different entities. They're two different things. The mind also changes the brain. Dr. Leaf said that through the mind, it's thinking, feeling, and choosing. We build thoughts, which are physical structures in our brain. And they're made of physical structures made of proteins. I believe they're called photons. This building of thoughts creates structural, structural changes in the brain, which is called neuroplasticity. So ultimately, it means you can choose what you build into your physical brain Mm -hmm. by what you think with your mind. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, looking at it from the believer's perspective, this points us to the God who made the brain, who gave us a mind. If we have the ability to do this through the way that we think, through our mindset, then the access we have to the word and to believing what God says about us makes us darn near unstoppable or unstoppable. Mm -hmm. 
And this is why God tells us to think on the things that are good and pure and, and of um, good report and mm -hmm. honorable and all of those things and to keep our mind on him. And it gives us access to the mind of Christ. Mm. All right, y'all. So we're going to wrap up. I got to read this part because uh, I'll be forgetting. <laughs> to make sure that you can kick it with us on a consistent basis, check the show notes for the direct links to all the platforms where this podcast is available. Or you can keep watching right here. This podcast this podcast is also a part of the Just Be brand, which you can follow via the links in the show notes as well. There is merch and all there, y'all. Thanks so much for kicking it today with us here at Sharpen, where <laughs> no matter the candid conversation, we always end up whittling life down to what matters most. And we hope that as you hung with us today, you were inspired to do the same. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. 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 Enrich the itch. Mm. What the world? <laughs> She thought that was bomb to put at the end. Look, because I heard that they They've been reading the whole time. You ain't tell us the way I sweat. Lynn, don't, don't do that. Exactly. Every so I was.